May 9th, 2020. That's right. You may not have heard me correctly. I did not say February 9th. I did indeed say May 9th, 2020. And now no more snow. Such a strange, strange week. Now since this is technically spring, despite the snow we've seen, the very cold temperatures that we've had, when I think spring, for me, after I get through flowers and good weather, the next thing for me that tells me, baseball. And since we can't go out to baseball games, especially the Buffalo Bisons games and other great local high school or college baseball games, I said, okay, what can I do that's a classic baseball memory, right? We go to a baseball game, what do you need? No, not Cracker Jack, I'm not making that, right? Hot dogs. Hot dogs are a classic baseball concession. You might remember last week on May the 4th when I did my Star Wars themed video, I made a Ronto wrap that was inspired from the actual Ronto wrap at Disney's Galaxy's Edge. So I had bought all beef Salem hot dogs, and today I'm going to compare the Salem all beef hot dog with your traditional standard Salem hot dog to see which one is better and maybe if my opinion has changed. Is the all beef hot dog my favorite or is it still the classic Salem? So join me today to see which one of these classic American treats, the hot dog, namely Salem's hot dog, is my favorite. Okay, so we have our hot dogs in the pan. Haven't quite turned it on yet, but we will. We have our standard Salem's hot dog right there, which is the pork-based hot dog. We have your all-beef Salem's hot dog right next to it. They are the same size. They both have some sort of casing on there, obviously. I don't know if it's cheap or not, but it is for the uh, pork hot dog. I don't know what it is for the beef hot dog, some sort of casing. We're going to cook these up. Very standard a test here. I'm just going to put them both the same onto a bun, ketchup, mustard, relish, eat them. See which one I like better. My gut's telling me it's this one, that's what I know. But could this all be hot dog steal the title today? Only time will tell. Alright, so our hot dogs are starting to cook up nicely. I slit them a little bit so that they could, you know, have that nice sort of plump look to them. And, and that Salem hot dog look. Now, I forgot to add a very important ingredient when I mentioned it earlier, how I was going to taste test these. So it won't just be ketchup, mustard, relish. You need the standard baseball ballpark topping for a hot dog, onions. So, hot dog, ketchup, mustard, relish, onions. All right, but they look like they're friends in there. But they are fierce competitors. Okay, these guys are just about done. Normally, before anyone jumps in there and says what I'm about to say, Normally, I would like them a lot darker than this, a lot more charred, but to do that in a frying pan just isn't the same as when you do it out on the grill. So this is good enough, which will allow me to really test the two of these. So we're going to take these off, put them in the bun, dress them, and get to the taste test. Okay, so we've got the hot dogs in their buns, and right off the bat, you can see the standard pork Salem hot dog is definitely a thicker hot dog. You look at the top, you can, you can see. So... Uh, they're both about the same length. The pork hot dog is a little bit longer and definitely is thicker. And the all beef hot dog is a little more narrow. But for the most part, you know, about the same. You know, but again, if I was giving the edge right now in size, pork. There's one we our onions cut up there. We're going to go ahead and dress this up. And then the all important taste test. First up, ketchup. Let's go, ketchup. Pork hot dog we go. Under the beef hot dog we go. Okay, ketchup. Mustard, yellow mustard. No spicy mustard, no brown mustard. Regular old yellow mustard for this test. Okay. All right, what an equal amount there. That's also tea. Relish. 
Alright, sweet relish. Here we go. Put that on there. Awesome, that's alright. Come on now. Let's go. Alright. Last but certainly not least, the onion. We're just going to slot those in on top here. Looks like we were at the ballpark. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look and see what our hot dogs look like now that they're all dressed up. Okay, so there they are all dressed up. We still have our pork hot dog here on the right, our all beef hot dog here on the left. All the condiments are on there, ketchup, mustard, relish, and onions, so now's the time. All fair. Pork versus beef, who will win? Let's find out. Alright, so we're going to start with, of course, the pork, the standard. I mean, it's the champ, right? So, let's take a bite. We got all the ingredients on there, all the condiments. And we'll take two bites of this before we make an opinion on it. I mean, there's really not much I can say for those who know this hot dog. It's an outstanding hot dog. It's better than anything you buy in a grocery store. It's not your standard run of the mill hot dog. It's hard to explain if you've never been to Buffalo. So if you've been to Buffalo, you have to get a Salem hot dog, like a Ted's hot dog or something like that. But the Salem hot dog is a top tier hot dog. Wardinsky's hot dogs as well too, but today we're only looking at Salem's. I think I heard another video there, Wardinsky's versus Salem's. But for now, we have the standard pork Salem's hot dog, which is just outstanding. There's that snap from the real casing on there, all the different spices, all the different flavors. It holds up well. Even on the bun, it's still all there, all right? That's what it looks like on the inside, just delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a bottle of water, try to rinse the palate here, and then to the all beef hot dog we go. All right, so we got our bottle of water here. We're gonna go ahead and rinse the palate. I have no idea if that did anything, but it was fun to do. Now, if you liked this video so far, be sure to subscribe, keeps you in the loop for all the other videos. Now. The all beef hot dog. Here we go. And there it is. Holding its shape very very well. Again, we're gonna go two bites before we give an opinion. So all dressed up, all beef sailing hot dog. Here we go. Bite number one. Got all the ingredients on there. Now we're gonna take bite number two. And then be able to give our opinion. We've tried both. It's a pretty good hot dog, you know. But, uh, the flavor doesn't come out right away like it does with the other one. A little more muted. And when you do finally get the flavor of the hot dog, it tastes like your standard variety hot dog you could get anywhere, like a Sugardale hot dog or a Oscar Mayer hot dog or a Ballpark Frank. Nothing really too special about it. There's a little bit of a snap, but not nearly as much as there is with the traditional, the standard hot dog, we'll say the Salem original, I guess we'll call it. Uh, you know, the flavor though is still good. And now, just like the other one, it's maintained. You can see it's much smaller. Now that we kind of have a cross section here, kind of see, oh, there's an onion in the way. But now you can kind of see, right? These are looking down a gun barrel. The standard one. There's your all beef one. Kind of see. A little more narrow, but okay. There is a clear cut winner here, and it's not close. The winner is the Salen traditional standard pork hot dog. It's just it's 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 the best. There's no way around it. So the beef hot dog is good. Now, if for whatever reason you don't eat pork and you still wanted a hot dog, this would be a perfectly fine alternative. And if I ran out of hot dogs, would I eat this one? I probably would go without hot dogs. Um, you know, but you know, hey, if someone was serving it, I would eat it. It's not, it's not like the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten. It's not even close to that. But 
I just don't want an all beef hot dog. I want your pork variety hot dog here, and I want your Salen or your Wardinsky hot dog, but it's still a good hot dog. Uh, now, so that's going to be round one. So Salen traditional, round one winner. What's round two? Well, if the weather ever changes, and if the circumstances ever get better, and I can go outside and cook out and grill, we're going to put these two hot dogs to the test against each other on the grill. So which one grills up better? The Salem traditional pork or the Salem all beef hot dog. So let's see what happens there. Now, for whatever reason, the all beef hot dog is able to win that one and they're tied 1 1. We'll come up with a third place uh, event, a third event, so that way we can figure out who is the winner. I would say, though, this Salem hot dog wouldn't have worked well in the Ronto wrap. That was what you needed. You needed sort of that all beef. But you wanted like that pork sausage, so you kind of wanted like something like that, but not this type of a pork sausage, right? You wanted a red smoked sausage. So that was good enough for the Ronto wrap. That would fit for other things if it needs, like, you know, if you were going to make uh, like little cocktail wieners, and, and like I like to make sometimes, and uh, some of my friends from previous employment will, you know, remember the, the lovely cocktail appetizers I made that were the cocktail wieners and like a grape jelly sauce, this would be great to cut these up into small little pieces. That would work out perfectly. So there is a role for this. Uh, no pun intended. There is a role for this. I'm just not sure it's for me for the normal eating like I would a hot dog. So to wrap up, the winner, of course, with no doubt in my mind, I wasn't really too worried about it, but you never know, open-minded, the traditional Salem hot dog. So with that, I am off. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you disagree and you're an all-beef hot dog guy, especially just Salem's all-beef, let me know. Be sure to subscribe. Leave the same loop for future updates, but I'm going to go finish my dinner. So have a good day. Stay warm. <laughs> Stay safe. See you next time.